Click the links for Odyssey, Bitchy, join me on subscribe stars for channel through the various other links. Be sure to get on Gab and Telegram. So, you know, what you do is, is I think, like, quick, quick videos so I don't say something on PC. Um, you want to go down the rabbit hole a little bit with symbolism and a little bit of tinfoil hat fun funness. And the funny thing is, like, all those conspiracy theory channels got kicked off YouTube. The reason they got kicked off YouTube is in itself a conspiracy theory, which uh, is a trip, but it's also obviously not something you can talk about on Google Tube. So this image, I've seen this image before. They've used it whenever they talk about the, this, the movie that's, you know, it's coming out. And they use the same image before. So you see the cat in the background. It's I know you're watching this on 480, but um, my phone melts at higher resolution. It's a, it's a, so the cat in the background, right? That's a cat. As you zoom in, you can see it's clearly a cat. But so taking the title, taking the the cat, and w like, does it look like something else? Is there some other symbolism going on there? Anyway, so this is Chelsea Steiner, who is um, um, is she is what she is. Uh, She's the one who's calling you uh, an incel neckbeard. Chelsea Steiner, you you put this picture on your th your 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 thing. You know we can see you, right? This is this is publicly. This is in the same article. This is at the bottom of the article. I just opened it up. This is you. You publish this picture. We can see you. Do you really not know what you look like when you're talking about other people? The the incels and the neckbeards who didn't like the movie. So you're insulting people based on their looks and uh, who they, their sexual preferences. And then you put this picture out there. It's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit weird. Uh, expression glass houses comes to mind. So she has a long article where she's uh, very upset about uh, Captain, no, Ms. Marvel not doing well uh, on the reviews. I mean, it's like the, the reviews don't, don't matter. Why would you, why do you even get, ex wait until the, the stuff, Wait until this, the show's been out for a little while, and then you can kind of see how, how well it's doing. Um, let me just be a little bit of Nostradamus here. I predict it's going to be horrible. Uh, Batwoman-level horrible? Well, it's a safe prediction, because I think anything coming from not only Disney, the mainstream in general is going to be horrible. For the love of St. Peter, we're going to have to figure out a way to crowdfund Hollywood. That's a big investment, I know. Comics Gate is one thing. Movie Gate, Hollywood Gate, is... That's a... That takes a lot more money. But uh, at some point, you're going to look at Hollywood and, and realize, oh, this is so bad that maybe maybe it starts to become an option. That's how Comics Geek got far, start, started. It was The mainstream stuff was so bad. And then people looked at it and go, oh, yeah, I could just do this myself for like $30,000. And then, you know, make a, make money selling comics online. Welcome to Comics Geek. Anyway, so she has this insane statement. Her logical... Her, her logic is some twisted Gordian knot that um, I, I'm not quite following. She says, you're, you're all uh, obese, ugly, neckbeards, uh, incels who are, are not constantly validated by a woman's vagina. They, they seem to place a lot of importance on themselves. And again, I showed you the picture of what she looks like. It's, um, we're not seeking validation from people who look like you, Steiner. So she makes this comment about Captain Marvel, who did well. It was a bad movie. It did well. How does that make sense? It was nestled in between the two biggest films in movie history. Uh, the second one, I think, the budget was about uh, almost four hundred million dollars. Then you add in advertising and stuff on top of that. Yeah, the, those two, those two Marvel movies, the Avenger movies, were the biggest films in history. They're going to have that record for a very long time to come because of uh, you know all the things that have gone on since then. So Captain Marvel was nestled in between that. Brie Larson very famously came out and made some sexist, ageist, um, uh, misandrist uh, comments on um, anti-white comments, uh, this kind of stuff. Um, and you know people talked about it, and, but they still went and saw the movie because one, the culture war was at a certain level when that movie came out, and Disney was at a certain level when that movie came out, and also it was the la it was the, the the penultimate movie was Captain Marvel before the ultimate movie, the, f the the last movie in that sequence, which was a monster monster film. And I mean, they're still making movies, but like it's not it's not you know it was in a sequence of it all led up to this one movie, which. You know, sorry guys. In it, it was those movies were, were mediocre. All of the movies were mostly mediocre, with good scenes nestled in between them. It's like that's all it was. Um, so yeah, it made a billion dollars, but those guys are estophobics because they went and saw that movie. But then they also didn't support um, Birds of Prey and Wonder Woman, so they're still estophobics. I'm not following your logic here. And the second question that is, why didn't women go support Birds of Prey and Wonder Woman? 
Why, why don't women go... And um, the Terminator movie and not only Ghostbusters. Um, who was that movie? Charlie's Angels movie. Uh, there's a, there was a, like a half a dozen movies that came out that were kind of along that vibe. And, and, I, and they go, oh, they didn't do well. Yeah, but shouldn't the theaters have been packed with women? And, and there's just silence when you ask that very reasonable question. Because, no, as it turns out, women don't want to see that movie, those type of movies. They want to see um, romance or romantic comedies in general. Or romance, action, adventure, but it's always going to have an element of romance because women are not men. They are, if you've ever seen, read women's romantic novels, um, you know women are fundamentally different than men. Oh, that's, that's hate speech, friendo. That's, we're all the same. But, but we're not. I mean, at a fundamental level, men are more likely to read science fiction and women are more likely to read some romance. That's just the way it is. So um, Birds of Prey and Wonder Woman didn't do well because they were bad movies. Uh, and that kind of is as simple as it is. Uh, Captain Marvel did a billion dollars because it was before the biggest film in history. But you're saying that the people who either saw or both didn't see those movies, but only the men specifically are, are istophobes. And then she has this comment that is so childish, and she's, I think she's got to be 40 years old. Uh, it's just not the way adults... The way adults behave in 2022, in current year, friend, is not, um, is, is not the way adults behaved in the past. <sighs> there, there's, a, there's this preponderance of a, adult bodies walking around with childlike speech patterns. It, it's just bizarre. It's, it's like there's a, this weird regression, it, this... Like, infanthood, uh, teenage angst is kind of extending out into people's 30s and 40s. And in the case in comics, you get someone like Mark Waits in, into somebody's 50s. They're acting like children who got participation prizes their whole life or who have never been told no or never had to respect diversity of thought. So in this comment, she says, These neckbeards gave the same treatment to birds of prey and Wonder Woman, presumably because their mommies burned their pizza rolls and women, shockingly, don't want to date them. Gee, I wonder why. So that argument doesn't make any sense. And this is the picture you posted. I'm trying not to violate any YouTube rules, but this is the picture you freely posted at the bottom of your article. And you said all that kind of nonsense. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, support me on subscribe star if you wish. And I'll see you guys on the alternative video platforms.